All right, thank you for clicking on this video. And today, what I'm going to share with you is this thing called Flutter Flow, which is a app builder that helps you build Flutter apps effortlessly. So it's just a mini review on the good and bad of Flutter Flow and in general app builders themselves. So let's get started. So let's start off with the good things. And I think these are the three good things that the Flutter Flow has, which is Firebase integration, authentication templates, or you could say UI templates, and then a good visualization on how the theme looks like. So let's get started with the first one, which is Firebase integration. So one thing that really catches my eye when you go to the landing page is that they actually have Firebase integration. And I think other app builders that build Flutter apps for you does not have Firebase integration. So let's have a sneak peek of how a Flutter Flow builder looks like. Honestly, this looks fantastic because the design is really well made. And then if you were to look on your left side over here, you could see there is this Firebase icon. So this is a really easy way for you to upload your configuration files for Android and iOS. And once your Firebase is successfully set up, then you are able to make use of the user authentication. So inside the Flutter flow, if you were to click on the UI builder, you can create different pages as such. So you got like home page, login page, and quiz page. So the good thing is that if you were to go to this actions tab, you are able to add some actions. So for example, inside this sign up button over here, you could add an action for Firebase authentication. So you can add an authentication action, launch URL, set state or update database. But for now, the authentication works pretty well. And then you have some action types, so you can create, log in and log out. You can also choose your authentication provider, which is email and Google. And then you have your email and password field. So you can choose which email and password field you have created. So you have this email field, and then password field. So this is really fantastic because you don't have to code everything out. You can just add the actions to your different UI components. And I don't see any Flutter app builder that has the Firebase integration or configuration inside it, which is great. So the next good thing is these authentication templates, or you could say templates or UI templates. If you were to go back to the Flutterflow app builder, this whole authentication page or login page is actually from the templates part of the UI builder. So you got your profile header, you got social media profile, you got the different login pages that you can choose from. So I chosen login one, but you can choose login two, three, and four. And this is really helpful because you are able to see how it looks like if you were to grab this, for example, login one. And then if I were to just delete everything, and then insert another login and just drag it as such, you could see that it actually created the login UI for us. And the last good thing that I like is the visualization of your theme. So the thing is that for themes, we don't really see what are the different typography and colors, but for the Flutter flow, it helps you to visualize what kind of typography and colors you can set inside your Flutter app. So for example, you can set your navbar color, your icon color, and your unselected icon color. You can show navbar or not. And then inside the project colors, you have your primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. And then your typography, one cool thing is that you're able to actually select the different Google fonts, and then you can just set them as accordingly. And lastly, you could see your different project text styles. So you have like your title one, two, three, and four, and then you can just set your different font weights or font size or color itself. So it gives you a bird's eye view on how the different text and colors are being integrated in your Flutter app. So in summary, these are the three things that I like about Flutter Flow, which is Firebase integration, authentication templates, and theming itself. So now we talk about the good, let's talk about the bad. Let's go through what are the bad points for this Flutter Flow or in general, any Flutter app builder. So as you can see over here, this is the process of using this kind of app builders. So first you will have to create a design 
and if there is any other services that you can connect to for example firebase or once not that that's another step and the next thing is most of the time you will have to download the source code and the source code is not exactly 100% perfect because certain companies have certain way of doing things so you probably have to do some coding and debugging to connect the design that you have created from these flutter app builders and once everything is done then you launch it so these are like five steps or in a big picture view it's not very detailed but it takes a lot of steps if you were to use this flutter app builder now if you were to just use normal development you cut the step of downloading the source code so you will just create a design from a designer and then you probably have to connect all of your different third parties and then lastly you'll do the coding and such and you will launch it so if you were to reiterate it is actually a little bit faster than using a flutter flow or flutter app builder and lastly this app builder that I really love is this thing called Glide. So Glide connects the Google Sheets and create the design for you. And then you are able to launch it immediately. So the problem with all of the different app builder is that you will have to download the source code. And the thing is, if you were to download anything inputting inside your app, it increases your development time significantly even though the design is already in code so in summary the good things about using flutterflow is that you have firebase integration that is pretty easy to understand you can use the templates that also has integrated the authentication and lastly you are able to visualize the theme of your app however like all app builders this is a personal take it is really not worth the time for now to use app builders for code generation but if you want your time worth then check out my flutter courses on udemy where i'll teach you how to build a developer portfolio in flutter web or a simple landing page in flutter web and firebase so that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below and comment down if you will use Flutterflow or this Flutter app builders. Stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.